It's not only younger kids who are back to school, as we've been showing you, so are college students. Lydia Anderson is a senior at St. Norbert College in De Pere and a former summer intern here at Local 5. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. Now, you started school on Monday. How's it been? It's been great. It's really good to be back on campus. That energy is back, and everyone's excited for a little bit of normalcy. What was St. Norbert College like last year? Was it all virtual or a mix or what? So last year, it was a bit of a hybrid. Some classes were online, some were in person, and it was all really up to the discretion of the professor, whatever they were most comfortable with and the students, what they were most comfortable with. So if you didn't feel comfortable going to class, there was always an online option for you. Was that hard? Yeah, it was a little, it was a little different, a big change. Um, definitely harder to focus, mm -hmm. but <laughs> yeah. Now, you are in all in-person right now, or are there still some virtual options? So currently, right now, I am in all in-person, but at St. Norbert, there is still a couple virtual options for those who are medically vulnerable, whether that's a professor or a student. And if a student gets sent into quarantine or isolation, there is um, the online option for them as well. Do you think that's better being in person, learning-wise and socially? I do think it's better being in person for that human interaction, especially at the college level. St. Norbert's a small school, so we do a lot of group work, and it, it just makes it a lot easier. What are your COVID policies regarding masking? So right now, our COVID policies regarding masking are masks are required indoors, but not outdoors. So whenever you're in the classroom or in the cafeteria or any class building, athletic facility, you are required to have a mask on. What about those who are unvaccinated? So those who are unvaccinated are subject to random testing. So this could be, might happen, might not. And those who are unvaccinated do not have to do the random testing. And they have to be tested before school too, right? Yes, you okay. have to show a negative test to go back to school. As a student, do you feel safe there with these COVID policies? I do. I think St. Norbert's done a really good job um, making us all feel safe and comfortable and really helping students with whatever their needs are. All right, Lydia, we thank you so much for joining us this morning and have a great year at school this thank year. Thank you. Now we send it over to Caitlin on the five things to know for colleges this upcoming school year. Well, for many young adults, college may be the time of their lives, but with like everything, things have changed during the pandemic. So here are five ways that college looks different now that school's in. You're excited to be back on campus now that the fall semester is underway, but what does living on campus look like? At UWGB, residents who are not fully vaccinated against COVID-19 will be asked to wear a face covering when in common housing areas like lounges and hallways. Guests are allowed once again, but expected to wear masks during their entire visit. Libraries and study areas are once again open for students. Study spaces and computer workstations are available, but will be limited to encourage social distancing. And easy access to the vaccine. Campuses across the state are urging all students and staff to get vaccinated. UW-Madison offers free vaccines to all eligible staff and students that can be scheduled on campus. Vaccination proof colleges like St. Norbert are requiring students and staff to submit proof of their vaccination to the university's medical database. This way, they can accurately monitor and trace cases on campus. Colleges are also still offering virtual and blended learning models for students. If this is an option for you, you can check your university's website to see all of the learning options available. And don't forget to join us for our digital recap after.